Well, look, I've been saying what I said it last week here. Yes. I think the Bears are. I think the Bears are hot. I think they have something going here. And the reason why, and let me, and let me just, you know, we're, we're going to talk about the obvious people. I mean, look, Mitch Trubisky really is the key for this football team as far as really putting them over the top. And the key is, and look, Dan alluded to it earlier, it's about him starting hot and then him being consistent so they can really use the full complement of their weapons as far as the run in the pass game is concerned, and they can play true to their formula, which is then turn the dogs loose on defense and just make your offense suffer. The only thing I will say, though, is this. This kid is ascending the right way. The coaching staff really believes in him. They really do believe in how he is improving. And I'm going to tell you this. Coaching overall for this football team, do not underestimate it. Matt Nagy is a genius. And Vic Fangio right now is a guy who, although he's getting some head coaching interviews, he's a guy who, when you listen to him talk, he doesn't care about that right now. They realize they have something special here where they could be one of those true stories where they go worst, not from worst to first, but worst to Super Bowl. That's incredible. So that's the team you like. Yeah. Of the teams playing this weekend, one's going to win the championship. You say it'll be? I think it's going to be the Colts because we talked about Andrew Luck and how good he is, but also that Colts defense with Matt Eberflus is very, very underrated. They can stop the run. They did it against Zeke. You know, and we're able to stop the best rusher in the NFL. And let's not forget also Matt Eberflus. He was hired by Josh McDaniels. They just inherited him with what he's been able to do, the pressure he's been able to generate. This Colts defense plays much differently than what people anticipated. And if you can stop the run and make a team one-dimensional, you saw what the Chargers were able to do against the Chiefs earlier this season. You can push it all back to the quarterback. Then you're able to have success and use that pass rush. Look, if the formula is having the quarterback and the defense, I don't disagree. How about you? Which one team this weekend? and you think has the best shot to win it all? Uh, the Chargers. I know they got a huge test going to the East Coast and a really a 10 o'clock kick for, for them against the Ravens, but I'm looking at the weapons that they have in offense, whether it's Keenan Allen, who we all know can route up anybody. Then the big fella, Mike Williams, who's been like a godsend for Phillip Rivers. Melvin Gordon is back healthy. They've got all these dip different weapons on offense, and I'm looking at this team and going, okay, does Phillip Rivers in a way have a John Elway type run? where, like, he was the Hall of Fame quarterback that never got the Super Bowl. Does P. Riv have a run like that? And don't forget, great defense. Could be the defensive rookie of the year in Derwin James. And does Hunter Henry come back healthy? Does, does Henry come back and have an impact on that offense? I know Another what's weapon. happened. I know you've been here every Monday this Rex, entire man. season with Rex Ryan. Rex. And Rex has finally <laughs> – I'm picking the Chargers and Clemson. 